like the people running the lips and you knew them. Marla, baby, love you. Have a nice day at home, okay, sweetie? I love you. <laughs> Well, growing up in Calgary, I would ski maybe like a few times every season. I've never had the opportunity actually to take ski lessons. It's all just kind of like me figuring it out on the hill and then like watching other people <laughs> to try to see what I can learn from observing them. I say I'm like a confident green. <laughs> Yesterday we went to a spa called Scandinave. It was my first time at a Scandinavian spa. Very relaxing. They have a digital free policy, totally like as silent as possible. And so, didn't bring the phone inside, obviously, didn't bring this camera inside. And I just got to unplug. They did let me bring my e reader, so I got some reading done, which was nice. And tomorrow, it'll be Dan's turn to go with the boys. Good morning, Marla! Hi! <laughs> She's just lying on the ground because I'm trying to get ready. Got a nice day at home today. I'm excited. Today is Dan and the guys' turn at the spa. I'm home with Marla. Some other girlfriends are here too and their babies. I'm on dinner duty today, so I have some food to prep. As well as at 4 p.m., I'm recording as a guest judge with a YouTuber. She's working on a series. If it has aired by the time this vlog goes up. I will definitely link it for you, but if you want to see what happens with that, check my Instagram as well. I'll probably mention it there too. Today, in fact, is our last full day here at this little mountainside chalet. It's been a very, very nice trip. I haven't been able to get together with these friends and go on a trip in years, years, years. And we feel so accomplished to have been able to do it with three babies in tow. Feels like a very successful first attempt at traveling as a group with babies. If you've been subscribed for a while, you may recall, this is the same group of friends that I went to Joshua Tree with. And back then none of us had babies. And there was a bit of a um, feeling that like Joshua Tree was gonna be our last time potentially really successfully going as a group of friends. So now it feels like we've redeemed that fear and turned it into just, yeah, it was fun. And we took turns taking care of the kids. Everyone who wanted to or could had a chance at the slopes. We did it, guys. <laughs> Let's go for a quick tour. Ready, Marla? It's gonna be a lot of painful realities of parenting because this is not a well-dressed situation. It's gonna be really messy and I'm just going to embrace and accept and show you the realities of that. Obviously, I wish I could have given you a tour the moment we walked in, but we just didn't have that type of luxury with all the kids and activities in tow. Here we go. Our bathroom, it's connected into our unit. We got la toilette, la shower. <laughs> if you hear the faint sounds of the ocean, that's because Marla's white noise is playing. She sleeps here. Dan and I have been here. Oh my gosh, I'm dying inside. This is laundry that didn't get folded. And out here, ta-da, the hot tub and balcony access. Oh my goodness. Bag of diapers. Gonna take that upstairs. We are in the lower floor and there are four floors in total. This beautiful curved wall, wooden paneling, I love it. 
This is one of those like the Airbnb closet that you don't use because <laughs> they've locked it. Our kitchen, <laughs> it's so messy and so great. Our dining space, the view out the window has been lovely. Lots of trees, lots of sky, lots of snow. And up there, the master bedroom. Those doors open and close in a very dramatic fashion. <laughs> Marla just keeps slipping down. <laughs> I can't do this. It's part of my training. We've hoisted back up to maximum height. Whoa, let's go upstairs. The master bedroom. And ta-da! This has been our home for the past week. And we're very grateful and been enjoying it a lot. Okay, I got ready for the filming session that I have. If you guys are familiar with Angelina, who runs the YouTube channel Blueprint DIY, she's been running a competition called Next Top Upcycler. <laughs> and today, I'm supposed to help pick the final winner, the real Next Top Upcycler. I'm a little bit nervous. I always get a little bit nervous before these like recorded group calls. I just hope that I bring good energy and I hope that we have a fun time. <laughs> but then I remind myself, it'll be great. It'll probably be okay. And it's also exciting too because there's other guest judges, so I'll get to meet them as well. I think they're all they're all people who I've heard of or been familiar with in the <laughs> YouTube DIY world, so I'm so excited to finally get to chit-chat with them. <sighs> the house is weirdly quiet because I think we are the only souls here right now. Ah. Some of the people went out snowshoeing. Some people went out to do a drop-off uh. at the spa. Uh. Uh. It's just Marley and me for now. She just woke up from her nap. You feeling good, Marla? What do you want to say to the folks? The kind folks watching? Mmm, words of wisdom. It's quite the view, huh, sweetie? Do you see the car? Zoom, zoom. that today there was supposed to be really intense snowfall and so I'm wearing Marla instead of pushing her in the stroller because it's so hard to push when there's thick snow but I mean there's snow but all the sidewalks are paved and cleared and ready for a stroller and instead I'm gonna be physically exhausted because I'm carrying around my 20 pound baby on my chest. <laughs> today I just wanted to go visit some shops in the neighborhood it's something I do to just get a little inspiration and find some beautiful things. So let's go. Very ripe banana, so it's time to make some pancakes. Very simple ingredients, no added sugar. The ratio is supposed to be one banana per egg, but I feel like last time it fell apart too easily, so I'm gonna do two bananas, three eggs. actually made a pretty good batch so these pancakes I just save them in the fridge and bring them out for Marla to eat during the day 
it's just nice to prep the meal in advance. And these last ones that don't fit in the container, I will enjoy with Marla. Give you guys a little haul from my shopping. I did pick up a set of these beautiful birthday candles. It was a hard choice, but I went with the little cherries. Oh, these are so cute. And I grabbed a couple of the chin. Dang it, I was gonna remember this word, but the specialty Japanese paper. I purposefully chose ones that had a red background or a red accent. And I'll show you the plan for these in a second. I also picked up a new Kitta pre-kit washi tape. I actually already put it inside of my Kitta holder. This one I think is called Linen, and they're just these really cute little pre-cut tapes. I have a specific purpose for these ones as well. So in the last vlog, you guys might have seen me reading some English Chinese books to Marla. This is another one that I have, Animals, Dong Wu. It's got all these different animals in it. Dog, cat, rabbit, go, mao, tu zi but there's no pinyin which is the mandarin way of writing out the language using semi-english characters and so i've been meaning to get washi tape to stick it on here without damaging the book the pinyin and then that way dan can read the pinyin with marla mo ji xiao ji gong ji <laughs> trying to improve the Mandarin literacy in our home. One translation at a time. <laughs> With the Chinogami paper, I, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I fold it and cut it so that this spot right here can fit a bill because I'm making my own red pocket envelopes for Lunar New Year. This is what they're like once I've trimmed and rounded the corners. I just do it freehand, it's kind of relaxing and then I will be folding it this side this side a little glue to hold that down this one and now it's an envelope this design is so cute with the foil I love how this one is just so many flowers a little gentler oh but this one truly the prettiest wow 